Rika da basu ke de bahasi na 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 mahuse ke de be. Zavra ke da ba 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 ba. Zinta na masu ke da ba 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 yande ke sika. Zepe ke de be 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 be. Rika da ba 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 ba. Reke de be si na 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 ma. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Father, we thank you. Zaka di ba se ke de be se ke de be yande ke dia. Zebra ka di ba saka da ba ya. Empra ka di ba se ne me ke ne ya saka. Ro ka da ba 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 yando se ke de be be be. Ra ka de ba sun ta na na ma si ka de ba ba ba. Re ke de be 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 yande ka si ka da ba. Empra ka di ya so ka da da da. Mando ko so ko do bo 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 bo. Re ke de be 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 yanda. Come on, somebody, get in, get in, get in, get in. Share the broadcast as soon as you get in. Zika daba yande ke sika. And just begin to pray from wherever you are. Zeke debe yande ke di bara. Zika daba baba. Rako di ba saka di ba yande ka sika. Zivra ka de ba 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 ba. Zinta nama kadia. Zika da. Inta nama haso. Reku daba sika da baba. E prakodo sokodo bobobo sante nene mekidi asaka. Father, we thank you this morning. We celebrate you, King of Glory. In the matchless name of Jesus, you are welcome in the atmosphere. Take rulership, take lordship, take control. Arise, King of Glory, on this virtual portal of prayer. Your people are gathering to meet with you. Your people are gathering to encounter you this morning. We will not be disappointed. We will not be put to shame. Your word says, I have never told the children of Israel to seek me if I could not be found. Father, hearts are open this morning, ready to encounter you. Lives are open this morning, ready for you to come through and to touch them. Make way where there seems to be no way. Let there be a shift in circumstances that seem stubborn. Oh, this morning we welcome you, King of glory. You won't come without a sound. And that's why we come this morning, Father. And we say, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. The earth is full of your glory. Receive our praise, receive our honor, receive our worship this morning. I need somebody to lift up their voice and begin to thank him. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this morning. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Ah, Riku Zakadebe Sente Zafa kadiba soka de ba yande ke dia, rako de seke ne meka si kadiba yande ke seke. Charge this atmosphere up with your glory. Charge this atmosphere up with your presence. Move in a way that only you can. Zika da seke ne meke siya, rako de be 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 yande ke si kadaba. Oh, somebody lift up your voice this morning. Somebody lift up your voice this morning. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Zika di bayande kesika. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Welcome to this virtual portal of prayer. My name is Melody, and this is House of Hosting Heaven. We are a prayer movement. If you have never encountered us, we pray that this morning is going to be a refreshing time in the presence of the Lord. We come, we read a word, and we press in in prayer. And I want to give you today's word. Whew, I feel like just stepping in in, in prayer already. Ah, sika daba yando. Rake debe seke debe bebe be. Yando seke debe bebe. Zate ne meka sika ya bo sika da ba yande kadia rako de be 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 yande ke sike de be be zinta na maka zike de be 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 yande ka rako da ba 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 yande ke dia saka our soul thirsts for you our soul longs for you this morning zike de be zande ke dia rekoda ba 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 yande ka sika da ba. 
Emprakadiba sande kenime kadia soka baba ba. Aye kenime kedia soka dea telebe sekedebe. Ravra kedebe kenime ka senteneme kedia. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Reko basaka. Somebody just begin to pray. Just begin to pray. We're going to jump into the word right now, but just begin to pray. If you have a need, lay it at the feet of the master this morning. Ah, reko zika da baba. Zika na mako sekedebe. Epa kasika de bebebe. Yande kedia sakadaba. Raka deba yande kenemeko sakadaba baba. Epra kadia sakadebe bebebebe. Sande kedibe. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Receive glory and honor this morning. Ebrakadiba shakadebe sente nemekeza. Akadiba yande kedia shakadebe bebebe. Oh, lift up your voice, O oh ye saints, this morning and begin to pray. Zakadebe bebebe. Thank you, Father. Ekasikadeba yande kedia shakadebe bebebe. Rando ko zekedebe bebebe. Let no stone be left unturned this morning. Let no stone be left unturned this morning. Let no situation be left the same this morning. Let no situation be left the same this morning. Let no situation remain unshifted. Yako seke debe yande ke sikada baba. Raka debe seke debe bebe yande ke nia. Raka debe seke debe de yande ke seke. We apply intercessory pressure this morning. Move in a way that only you can. When hearts are open and ready to encounter you this morning. Zeken tene meke sakayaba seke debe bebe. Holy Spirit move in our midst this morning. Holy Spirit move in our Missed this morning. Ricon Tanama seke de be yanda sakadia. Rake de be 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 yande ke seke de be 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 yande ko. Azake de be yande ke dia sakada ba 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 ba. Rako de seke de be yande ke niya. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Hosts. Thank you, Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Thank you, Reigning King. We extol you. We magnify you. We glorify you. Let your glory arise in the atmosphere. Because when you are in this place, everything has to shift. Everything has to align. Everything has to change. Zika da yando ke seke de beya. Avraka de be sentene mekani yando. So in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Zeke de bebe be yande ke dia saka da baba. E kroko seke de bebe be 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 yande ke seka. Zafa ke de be ka di yando ko saka da 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 yande ke dia. Rako do seke de bebe be yande ke de me seke de ba. In the matchless name of Jesus. Woo. Ah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Yay. Whoo. We honor you this morning. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to pray. So I'm going to quickly get through the word as quickly as I possibly can. If you have your scripture with you, your Bibles with you, the book of 2 Kings chapter 5. We're in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5. And today's word of focus is destiny helpers. I don't know if I have somebody on this broadcast that is saying, woman of God, I need to be surrounded by my destiny helpers. It's destiny helpers. We're going to be crying out before the throne of God. Lord, send us our destiny helpers. Lord, send us the people that are going to propel us in the place of our assignment. Lord, send us the people that we need for our business. Lord, send us the people that we need for our ministry. Destiny helpers. I need somebody to type it in the comment section. I receive my destiny helpers. I receive my destiny helpers. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but destiny cannot be fulfilled in full without the help of destiny helpers. It will not be fulfilled in full without, without destiny helpers. Even Jesus needed destiny helpers. 
Even Jesus needed the 12 disciples. Even Jesus needed the people that followed him. He needed Mary. He needed Martha. He needed uh, 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 Lazarus. He, he, needed, he needed the people that surrounded him. He needed Dorcas. He needed the people that surrounded him. He had to have destiny helpers. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter 5 and we're going to be stepping into a story of a gentleman named Naaman. Now scripture tells us that this man was a commander of the army. He was a man of might, he was a man of influence, he was a man of means, he was a man of great power. He was even a man of great connections. But there came a time in his life where he encountered a very unique problem that required that he meet a different set of destiny helpers. I need somebody to type, my destiny helpers are on their way. My destiny helpers are on their way. I don't know about you, but I'm in a season in my life where I know that there are certain doors that can only be opened by destiny helpers. There are certain opportunities that are only going to arrive when God aligns me to destiny helpers. Doesn't matter how many, how much means you have. Doesn't matter how much connections, how much influence you have. You need destiny helpers along the way. So scripture tells us in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5, we're going to start from verse 1. I'm going to quickly read through this scripture and we are going to begin to pray for destiny helpers. The Bible says now Naaman the commander of the army of the king of Aram was a great man in his master's sight and highly regarded. So I want you to begin to imagine a man that is great in the sight of the king of a land and he is highly regarded in the sight of a king of the land. There is no, there is no signature that this man was incapable of receiving. There is no recommendation that this man was incapable of receiving. There is nothing that means could buy that this man was incapable of accessing. So the Bible says that he was a great man in his, in the sight of his, of the, of the king and he was highly regarded. Scripture says for through him, the Lord had given victory to Aram. So this man is highly influential and he is highly proficient in his ability to do his job. You might be here right now. You might be saying woman of God, when I go to work, they revere me because I am good at what I do. Woman of God, when I go to church, I am highly revered because I I am very good at what I do, but I'm currently going through a season in my life where I need a different set of destiny helpers. There are some things I'm struggling with that are going to require that I receive a different set of helpers. The Bible says, and he was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. He was a mighty man of valor. So not only is this man great in the sight of the king, not only does he come highly regarded by the king, he is also a mighty man of valor, but he is struggling with leprosy. Now, back in those days, leprosy was a disease that was like a chronic illness. Uh, once you had leprosy, the only thing that people could do was to throw you out of the city. The only thing that the community would do was to take you at the edge of the city where you would then end up staying. And if God had mercy on you, a miracle could happen and you would be healed. But essentially it was an opportunity. It was a way in which people would slowly disconnect themselves from people with leprosy because there just was no cure. You could have been revered. You could have been respected. You could have been loved. But the moment you got leprosy, nobody wanted to come in contact with you. And so scripture tells us in verse two, that at this time, the Arameans had gone out in bands and had taken a young girl from the land of Israel. So a young girl is coming from the land of Israel, the blessed land, the land uh, where, where they, they worshiped the Lord. And the Bible says that she was serving Naaman's wife. So this is Naaman's wife's helper. Scripture tells us in verse 3 that she said to her mistress, at some point, this young girl saw the state of her master. At some point, this young girl saw the state of the man of the house, the father of the house. And she, she, she felt a certain way about the situation. But she said to herself, surely I have a, an answer to this problem. So the Bible says she said to her mistress, if only my master 
master would go to the prophet who is in Samaria. He would cure him of his leprosy. This young slave girl says to herself, I know I might be stepping out of bound. I know I'm just a slave girl. I know I came here to do a specific job. My opinion is not revered. My opinion is not required. My opinion has not been asked for, but I know I have a solution in this matter. I need somebody to type, bring my destiny helpers, bring my destiny helpers, bring my destiny helpers she said to herself i don't care if this gets me in trouble i don't care if this this makes me look look presumptuous i don't care if this look makes me look like i'm out of bound like i'm out of line like i'm talking about things that nobody has asked me about but i'm just going to have to help my master i'm going to have to try my best to give them the solution i know is available where we come from we have a balm of gilead where we come from we have a man that works miracles where we come from we have the solution to this leprosy where we come from, we have a God where nothing is impossible with him. Where we come from, we have a man that works miracles that people can never even be able to perceive. We serve the real God. We serve a true God. We serve a living God. And I know these people have never encountered this God. I know these people have likely never even heard of such a God. I know this God might be a myth to others, but he is a reality to me. I have seen him heal. I I have seen him raise people from the dead dead i have seen him move and shift circumstances i have seen him minister deliverance and breakthrough in people's lives we serve a great god i have seen altars fight with his altars and they came to crumbles i i know this god i have encountered this god i have experienced this god this god i have i have many testimonies concerning him she said if i perish i perish but i must tell them about this God. I'm sent on a summon this morning to tell you that there is a God that can, that can work through your matter. There is a God that can lead you to your place of destiny. Uh, he can send people that don't look the part, that don't smell the part, that don't act the part, uh, that, that can't even speak the part, but yet they have a solution for your matter. She says, I have found him. I know him. I come from the place where he resides, this God. So I might just get in trouble, but I, but, but I trust the God that I'm about to introduce to these people that don't know him. The Bible says in verse three, she said to her mistress, if only my master would go to the prophet who is in Samaria, there is a man used by this God. There is a man who might have a solution for my master. Scripture says he would cure him of his leprosy. Verse four says, and Naaman went and told his master what the girl from the land of Israel had said. You know you are desperate when a slave girl tells you something and you don't dispute it. You know you have knocked on every other door when a slave girl tries to give you a solution and you don't even look at her in a funny way. You know you have knocked on any door and every door. You know you have tried to look for all solutions. You have used all your means and you have not found anything that can fix your matter. But alas, in the life of Naaman, God raises a destiny helper. Woman of God, what is a destiny helper? A destiny helper is a man or a woman who God has ordained. Come on. Who God has ordained. Who God has ordained to assist you, to aid you, to introduce you, or to deliver you in either spiritual or natural ways into the order and the fullness of what God has called you. This is a man or a woman that God ordains and assigns in the corridors of your destiny to deliver spiritual or natural deposits into your life. This person will either come into your life to give you wisdom that will take you to the next dimension. This person will either come into your life to introduce you to certain rooms that you had no access to prior to their arrival.
This person will either step into your life and they will introduce and connect you to certain caliber of people that you are in need of for your business, your ministry, your assignment, your career to go to the next level. People who are in careers, this might be in the form of a sponsor. This might be in the form of a mentor. This might be in the form of a director or a top manager, a senior manager who you gain favor with so that all of a sudden your, 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 your corporate journey no longer has to take the natural way. You no longer have to work five years to gain a promotion. You no longer have to go the long haul, the long run, the, the, the long route to your, to your destiny. They cut the time that you are supposed to spend on the journey journey so that you have and receive the benefit of quantum leaps in your destiny. This is a destiny helper. This could be somebody in ministry who gives you a platform that will completely change and shift the trajectory of your ministry. This platform will cause you to step into places and rooms and, and meet with people that you would have never met unless you had gone the long route. God sends you destiny helpers when he is a, a very desperate for your message to reach, reach certain people in a short space of time. Uh, this is what God does. He, he cuts the amount of time that you are supposed to be spending along the journey so that all of a sudden your journey is no longer natural because you can get there naturally. You can work your way there. You can prove your way there or God can intercept the journey and send somebody that is the capacity and the capability to release you and to usher you into certain rooms quicker than you would have. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I want you to take seriously today's prayer. I want you to take seriously today's prayer. Father, if there be destiny helpers that you have ordained for my journey, cause them to gravitate towards me in this season in the name of Jesus. I don't want to spend uh, too much time in places that I'm not supposed to be spending too much time in. Prayer governors, do you know that some of us come from so such disadvantaged background? Uh, 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 our, our backgrounds are so disadvantaged that if we take the natural route, if we take the natural route to try to break ourselves out of the jaws of poverty, if no, nobody steps in for us, if no one is sent from heaven to give us a supernatural, unprecedented, unusual, uncommon advantage, our kids are going to still be trying to fight poverty even when they get to our age. I'm talking about people that have been disadvantaged for so long that God decides to give them the privilege of quantum leaps along their journey through destiny helpers, through the advantage of someone that steps into your life, steps into your journey, gives you either a, a wisdom for your journey that distinguishes you, that causes you to be set, set apart and favored in such a way that it cuts off the time that even your business is meant to be spending along the process. Am I communicating this morning? I want to make sure I have not yet left somebody along the journey. I want somebody to say you're communicating. If I'm still with you, I want you to say you are communicating. You're communicating. We're going to be praying for destiny helpers. Lord, send my destiny helpers. Lord, send my destiny helpers. Lord, send my destiny. That's right. That's right. That's right. Destiny helpers. So she says to herself, I am going to tell my mistress about a prophet in Samaria because I am confident that this prof prophet is able to fix this issue. This, this prophet is able to assist my master. Now, this is a destiny helper that God imposes into the life of Naman in a very unusual and uncommon way. Prayer governors, I want to tell you something about your destiny helpers. That are, they are not always come, going to come uh, clothed in ways that you expect. They are not always going to come a, 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 in a book in a, in a book cover that you expect. They are not always going to look the part. 
I remember a couple of weeks ago, I, 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 I was in an Uber and I was being driven by a gentleman and, and, and as, as, as per normal, as per usual, if I'm not busy working on something on my laptop in an Uber, I, I, I am, I, I am talking to the Uber driver and it turned out that this Uber driver was not just an Uber driver because you don't, you don't always think that your Uber driver has something else that they are doing apart from driving you to where you're going. It turns out that this man had a thriving business in a very lucrative niche kind of uh, 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 business that I'm actually have exposure to. And this business is one of those businesses which when you just make one business transaction, you can actually rest for the rest of, your, of the year. Uh, you can make a good transaction that can cause you to sit and rest for the rest of the year. But he was in his 50s and he said, listen, I just do Uber because I, because I, I don't have anything to do. Prayer governors, you don't know who you're speaking to. You don't know the people that God is sending along your way. You don't know how they are going to come clothed. Scripture tells us that Naaman's destiny helper comes in the form of a slave girl. She is a girl and she is a slave. Women are despised in this community. And not only is she just a woman, but she is a despised woman in the sense that she came as a slave. She has no voice. She has no opinion. Nobody asks her for her, her opinion. But something about the slave girl causes her to be confident enough to impose herself in this dire situation that her master is going through. And she says, I know somebody that can help you with leprosy. This is destiny helper number one. And the Bible says that Naaman went to the king and said, there is a girl in my house that has told me about a man in the land of Israel. Verse five says, go now, say the king of Aram to Naaman, and I will send you with the letter to the king of Israel. So this is the second destiny helper. The king, if the king had not known about the prophet, which means that if the slave girl had not started the domino effect of destiny helpers, if the slave girl had not released the information about the prophet, even the king would not have sent a recommendation letter with Naaman. So the second destiny helper is the king. He sends Naaman, his commander uh, of the army with a letter and he says, go with this to the king of Israel so that when the king of Israel sees you in his land, he doesn't think you are coming to fight him. He doesn't think that you are a man on assignment. He doesn't think that we are declaring war on him. The king must know that you have you have been you are coming for assistance you are coming for help so the king sends naman with the letter to the king of israel second destiny helper scripture says in verse 5 so naman departed taking with him 10 talents of silver 6000 shekels of gold and 10 sets of clothing Prayer governors, I want to tell you, you're going to need destiny helpers in your life. They are leprosy-like seasons, leprosy-like environments, leprosy-like problems, which no one in your circle will be able to fix. God has to send you assigned, ordained, designated destiny helpers along the path. And God does this in a, in a way that is miraculous so that you know that victory does not come. Uh, victory uh, uh, takes a, a village, a uh, 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 pursuing vision, fulfilling vision takes a village. Scripture says in verse six, and the letter that he took to the king of Israel stated with this letter, I am sending my servant Naaman so that you may cure him of his leprosy. Verse seven says when the king of Israel read the letter, he tore his clothes and asked, am I God killing and giving life? That this man expects me to cure a leper? Surely you can see that he is seeking a quarrel with me. Prayer governors, I want to make a prophetic declaration that when you meet and encounter your God-ordained destiny helpers, may they not misunderstand you. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. May you not be misunderstood by your, your destiny helpers. Do you know, prayer governors, that there are some people that have come into your life and they were sent with a solution. They were sent, you, sent to propel you on your journey in ministry. They were sent 
meant to propel you on your journey in business, but there were misunderstandings that took place. The enemy made sure that there were misunderstandings so that people that were God ordained, people that were anointed to take you to another land, to another uh, dispensation, to another level, another dimension in the place where you are assigned by God. There were mis strange misunderstandings that took place. Some of you, you were good. You had good relationships with your managers at work. Something strange happened. The relationship uh, was frustrated. And when it, when the time came for promotion, you were not one of the people that were uh, shortlisted for promotions. Some of you, you were in such great favor with your pastors, with, 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 with your men of God, with your board of deacons, with your elders. Then something strange happened. A misunderstanding happened when you had encountered and met and collided with your destiny helpers. Right now we are encountering Naaman as he is talking to the king of Israel. The king of Israel says, you just came here to start a fight. You didn't come here with a good intention. You didn't come here with a good heart. Prayer governors, I want to make a prophetic declaration that as you meet with your destiny helpers, may your destiny helpers and you not encounter misunderstandings. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need someone to touch and agree with that word. I want you to say, when I meet my destiny helpers, they will not misunderstand me. Some of you people misunderstood you. They said you were too ambitious in corporate. They didn't see your talent as talent. They didn't see your gift as gift. They didn't see your zeal as zeal. They didn't see your excitement is excitement for your job. They just say this is a, 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 a an ambitious. He's too ambitious. We can't trust him. But I pray and I want to make a prophetic declaration that the next time you are going to encounter your destiny helpers, men and women who God has ordained to deliver and to deposit spiritual or natural deposits into your life, men and women who God has ordained in your life to open doors for you, to cause you to step into new dimensions at a quicker exponential rate than you would have, I pray in the name of Jesus that there will not be any demonic misunderstandings. In the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. Prayer governors, we're getting ready to, to pray. He says, surely you can see that he is starting, he's trying to quarrel with me. So now there is about to be a misunderstanding that's about to take place between Naaman and his second destiny helper. Verse 8 says, now when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes and sent a message to the king. Uh, why have you torn, he sent a message to the king. Why have you torn your clothes? Thank God for Elisha, a man of the spirit, who was able to hack in unto something that was happening in the spirit. He said, I am sensing that there is a man that God wants to honor. I am sensing that there is a man that God wants to favor. I am sensing that there is a man that God wants to deliver. I am sensing that there is a man that God wants to ush usher to believe in the God of Israel. But there is a misunderstanding that's taking place in the palace. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a misunderstanding that's taking place in a place where I am not. I am seeing a misunderstanding that's taking Taking place if I don't counter it in the spirit, if I don't rise up and if I don't come in between this, it's about to start a war. So the man of God, the prophet Elisha, a man of God, the Bible says that he heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes. So he sends a message and he says, King, I know what is happening in the palace. Why are you tearing your clothes? Please let the man come to me. Ay, 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 I want to make a declaration that heaven will intercept any misunderstandings that you have been having with your destiny helpers. Say amen in the name of Jesus. I want to declare that heaven is about to intercept any misunderstandings, any strife, any noise in the spirit, any contentions in the spirit concerning you and your destiny helpers, people that were sent in your life to bless you, people that were sent in your life to deliver spiritual deposits in you, people that were sent in your life to assist you, any misunderstandings, any noise in the spirit, we speak judgment this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, any noise, any misunderstandings, 
tongues, any strifes, any bone of contention with decision makers in places where you have sent applications, in places where you are looking for jobs, in places where you are applying for property, in places where you are applying for financing, in the name of Jesus, in any system where there was sabotage, where there was misunderstandings, where there was strife, where there was barricades and demonic blockades that were being lifted up against you. I pray as a servant of the Lord in the name of Jesus that let there be clarity. May you be exonerated. May you be vindicated in the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. Uh, the prophet Elisha says, why have you torn your clothes, my king? Please let this man come to me. He will know that there is a prophet in Israel. My king, this is an opportunity for this person to understand that the God of Israel indeed is the God. He is the God that this man should be worshipping. He is the true God. I, I, I want to prove to this man that the God we serve is a God that answers prayer. I want to prove to this man that the God that we serve is a God that delivers. I want to prove to this man that the God that we serve is a God that heals. I want to prove to this man that the God that we serve is a God that works miracles. He is a God of breakthrough. He is a God that works signs and wonders. Nothing is impossible with him. Can anything be too hard for this God? Send him to me. Send him to me. We want to prove to him that this God is a God that answers prayer. So in verse 9, the Bible says, So Naaman came to, his, to him with horses and chariots and stood at the door of Elisha's house. The Bible says in verse 10, Then Elisha the prophet sent him a message and said, Go and wash yourself seven times in Jordan and your flesh will be restored. We're talking about destiny helpers here. Now this is the third destiny helper in Naaman's life. The first one was the slave girl. The second one was the king that sent him with a recommendation letter. The third one is Elisha the prophet, the servant of the Lord, who then says to Naaman before he even sees him. The Bible says that Naaman came with horses and chariots and was standing and he was standing waiting for the prophet to come out of the house. But the prophet says, listen, our God doesn't need proximity. Uh, distance is not a barrier in our kingdom. I'm sent an assignment this morning that as long as you are part of this virtual portal of prayer, distance is not a barrier. I am in Johannesburg, South Africa right now, but I want to assure you that distance is not a barrier for what God is doing on this virtual portal of prayer. Distance is not a barrier for the move of God on this portal of prayer this morning. Distance is not a barrier for the miracle that God is about to route in your life this morning. I want to make a declaration this morning that as I touch and agree with you in prayer, as I touch and agree with you in prayer, as every person on this broadcast lifts up their faith and touches and agrees with you in prayer, uh, we are standing as destiny helpers. We are standing and we are applying intercessory pressure on your issue. Your issue and my issue. Your faith and my faith. I believe that God is going to move on our behalf this morning. I believe that God is going to shift something in our story this morning. I believe that God is going to shift something in our lives this morning. The Bible says, Elisha the prophet tells Naaman before he even meets him. He says, go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan and your flesh will be restored and you will be clean. The Bible says, but Naaman went, went away angry because Naaman had never seen such things happen in his land. He had never seen a God who doesn't need proximity to heal you. He had never seen a God who doesn't need gifts to heal, heal you. He had never seen a God that doesn't need you to sow a seed to heal you. Uh, he had never seen a God who doesn't need you to deposit something into their PayPal before he can heal you. He had never seen a God who doesn't need you to release something to sow a house for you 
for your matter to be sorted. He had never seen a God who is not transactional like that. He had never seen a God of mercy, a God of kindness, a God who can step into your circumstance and you don't need to have a fat bank account for your leprosy to be healed. This is a man who had tried all the doctors. This is a man who had tried all the witch doctors. This is a man who had tried divination. This is a man who had tried all the different altars of the land and no one had been able to fix his matter. And here is a God who the man of God doesn't even need to come out of the house to see the state of, of the issue. Somebody right now on this broadcast, you are saying, woman of God, if only you could see my issue. If you could only see how dire it is. If you could only see how old my issue is. How big my issue is. I wish I could go on a call with you, woman of God, so I can fully articulate to you how big this thing is. Uh, but the Bible says Naaman didn't even step out of his house. Uh, Naaman just declared a word. Uh, prayer governors, this morning, the Lord is about to heal somebody. The Lord is about to deliver somebody. The, the Lord is about to align someone to their destiny helper so that they step into their, into their journey, a journey that is quicker and faster than they thought they would ever travel on. The Bible says Naaman went away angry. Uh, he said, uh, he said, I thought that he would surely come out. I, I, I thought, I thought she would call me. I thought she would reply to my email and say, I'm touching and agreeing with you. I, 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 I thought, I thought he would come out and at least see my matter. But we serve a God who distance is not a barrier. He, distance is not a barrier. The Bible says, I thought he would surely come out, stand and call on the name of the, of the Lord, his God, and wave his hand over the spot to cure the leprosy. Are not the Abana and Papa, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters in Israel? Could I not have washed in them and been cleansed? So he turned and went away in rage. This man is saying, do I not know these rivers? Could I not have just gone on my own? But what he is failing to understand is that there was a word that was released from a man of God. There was a word that was released from the prophet Elisha. The Bible says he went away enraged. Prayer governors, I pray that when your destiny helpers come to you, I pray that may, when your destiny helpers come to you, number one, may there be no misunderstandings. Number two, may your egos not stand in the way of your help. Number three, may you not despise the kind of help you are receiving because you don't understand it. May you not despise what and how the help comes what the help comes packaged as and how the help comes packaged as. Because listen, you have been struggling with this issue. Why are you now fighting the solution you are being given as though you have something better? Prayer governors, as we step on the portal of prayer this morning, I want you to pray like never before because therein lies your breakthrough. Uh, the, 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 this man is trying to analyze the strategy. He says the strategy doesn't sound that deep. Some of you, you are about to step into places where you will encounter people that will give you divine wisdom on how to completely shift the trajectory of your business, how to completely shift the way you have been positioning yourself in corporate for that promotion. Uh, it's going to sound like a strange strategy. It will sound like something simple. It will sound like a, a advice that anybody could have given you. You could have read it in any book, but these people are destiny helpers. They have been ordained by God to deliver spiritual and natural deposits into your life. They are giving you advice that is coming from the throne room of God. It is fresh, it is powerful, and it is prophetic. It is potent and it can change your life. It can change your story. Don't despise them because of the way they look. Don't despise them because of their means. Don't despise them because of their strategy. Don't 
dictate how your destiny helpers are going to help you. I need some of you to pray this morning and I want you to say, Lord, give me humility. When my destiny helpers come, give me humility. Give me humility to listen. Give me humility to learn. Give me humility to listen intently. Give me humility to follow instructions. Give me humility as long as I can perceive the God on them. As long as I can perceive the spirit of God on them. As long as I can perceive the anointing of God on them. Help me, help me, help me. Grant me humility. You are sending me people. Help me to accept them. Help me to embrace them. Help me to receive them. Help me to listen with ears that are clothed in humility. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I want you to begin to call forth your destiny helpers. I want you to pray a prayer you've never prayed before. Father, send me destiny helpers. I know you grew up in a family that didn't encourage you to, to seek help. I know in your life you have been a loner. You have been a person that's always done things on their own. But we're stepping into a season where God is sending destiny helpers that are about to cut short the time you could have spent on the journey. That are about to short cut short the time you could have spent building that business. That are about to spend cut short the time you could have spent on the process. Why? Because the destiny helpers have wisdom. They are ordained by God to deliver spiritual and natural deposits into your life that will propel you and usher you into new seasons at a quicker pace. May God May God cause you to meet with your destiny helpers in this season. May your destiny helpers come with detail, with intel that will change your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you, our new subscriber. May I not despise. I want you to say, Lord, may I not despise my destiny helpers because of the cover they are coming covered in. The, the cover of the book doesn't dictate the content of the book. I want you to say, at the right time, may the right conversations unearth, unearth exactly what I need for my business, for my ministry, for my corporate journey. Uh, uh, some of you, you are about to encounter your destiny helpers on the bus. Some of you, you are about to encounter your destiny helpers on LinkedIn. Some of you, you are about to encounter your destiny helpers on the train. Some of you, you are about to encounter your destiny helpers on an Uber trip. Some of you, you are about to encounter your destiny helpers in, an, in a networking event. Some some of you are about to encounter your destiny helpers at a church conference. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I want you to say at the right time, may the right conversations occur. I want to make a prophetic declaration that this February, you're about to encounter God conversations with people that will change the trans trajectory of the place where God has assigned you, where God has planted you. These are destiny helpers that are going to give you wisdom that will shift what God has called you to do in a powerful way way. I, I, I want you to say, Lord, may there be an ecosystem that supports that the help that I'm about to receive. Let there be an ecosystem, a, co a collaboration of destiny helpers that lead me to the place where you have always intended for me to be. I want you to pray and I want you to say, may there be no misunderstandings. I want you to pray this morning and I want you to say, let there be no egos that are standing in the way of me and my help that is coming from my destiny helpers. I want you to pray and say, may we not despise how the help comes, how the help comes. And may we not dictate how the help must come or how the destiny helpers must help us. In the name of Jesus, I need somebody to pray and say, Lord, give me humility to receive help in this season. Give me, give me humility this year. Help me to meet with the right people. Help me to have the right conversations with the right people and help me in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ to have the humility to receive somebody begin to pray from wherever you are connecting from somebody begin to pray Zakadeba yande kede yende kese kede de de yande kedia.
Bako se ke le beshe ne 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 me ko sanda na yande ke dia. Raka da ba yande ke se ke de be 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 yande se ne. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call forth our destiny helpers. We call forth people that you have ordained in our lives to deliver spiritual and natural deposits into our lives. To introduce us into certain rooms. Father, I call forth my destiny helpers. I call forth my destiny helpers. I call forth my destiny helpers. I don't want to spend too long in processes. I don't want to spend too long in processes. I want my journey to be supernatural. I want my journey to be supernatural. In the matchless name of Jesus, let there be miracles along the corridors of my destiny. Let there be miracles along the corridors of my assignment. If there is no need, cut through the, the time spent in the process. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that what should have taken years and years, what should have taken months and months, what should have taken days and days through the advantage of destiny helpers, you are causing your people in the name of Jesus on this virtual portal of prayer to receive divine help, divine assistance. That's right. Break protocol for somebody this morning. In the matchless name of Jesus, send them unprecedented, unusual, uncommon help in the corridors of their destiny. No more being held bound through systems. No more being held bound through demonic natural systems that don't want the children of God to arrive at their place of assignment and their place of, of destiny quicker. We call forth our destiny helpers this morning. We cry out for mercy from the courtroom of heaven this morning. Your people are waiting. Your people are longing. Your people are lamenting before you. Your people are crying out before you, Father. Send them help from on high. Ebrako Zakadaba. Deliver them from the time spent in natural systems. Deliver them from time that is not that is not even necessary, that is spent in systems in the name of Jesus. May our destiny help us come with the detail we need, the detail we need to elevate our businesses, the detail we need to step into the rooms that you've already ordained for us to step into, the details we need to expand our businesses, the details we need to to expand our ministries, the details we need to touch more souls with the gospel, the detail, the intel, the strategy that we need to change the course of our lives in the matchless name of Jesus. May our helpers come with de deposits. May our helpers come with spiritual deposits. May our helpers come with natural deposits that they're going to deposit into our lives that will completely shift the story and the trajectory of our circumstances in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray concerning every person connected to this broadcast. May they not despise their destiny helpers in the matchless name of Jesus. Father, I pray that when the destiny helpers come, let our discernment be alert. Let the spirit of discernment be alert. May we be able to discern people that are coming from heaven. May we be able to discern people that you have sent to us. May we be able to discern people that are walking into our lives because they have a God 
godly mandate. May we be able to discern people that are coming carrying spiritual deposits. It's not how much money they have. It's not what kind of car they drive. It's not what kind of uh, location they are coming from. It's not the kind of societal ranking they are coming from. Father, I pray right now that will you deliver us from seeing people and receiving people and knowing men after the flesh. I pray that when our destiny help us come, Lord, may we not miss them. I declare and decree that in this season we will not miss our destiny helpers. May out the scales on our eyes fall. May we be open and attuned to the spirit that will be able to direct us to the people that you have sent in our lives. Or may we see the God on them. May we see the spirit of God on them. May we see the oil of anointing on them. May we see that these people carry something we need. In the name of Jesus, I pray for grace to be able to navigate these relationships because when the enemy can't stop us, he will try to distract us. I come against any strife that had been assigned over our destiny helpers and us and our relationship with them. I come against any resistance from the pits of darkness. I come against any strategy from the, from the pits of darkness sent to nullify and to come against any relationship that we've been building with destiny helpers. Right now in the name of Jesus, I cry out for humility. Humility to be able to navigate the corridors that we are walking with our destiny helpers. In the matchless name of Jesus, there will be no ego standing in the way of what you are doing. There will be no ego standing in the way of what you are doing. There will be no ego standing in the way of what you are doing. You are moving in our midst. You are moving in our midst. You are making a way, a quicker way. May we perceive and hearken to what you are doing. May we not miss your move. May we not miss the move of the spirit. May we not miss the wind of revival. May we not miss the wind of what you are doing. Our eyes will no longer be blind to the move of God in our lives. In the name of Jesus, no more ego standing in the way of God relationships in our lives. I pray for peace that surpasses all understanding over every destiny relationship. I pray for peace that surpasses all understanding over every relationship that has been sent by heaven into our lives to change and transform the trajectory of our lives in the matchless name of Jesus oh father mend every broken relationship that the Lord had sent into our lives that the Lord had sent to shift and to change our lives but we didn't hold uh, with 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 the right regard in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you make us good stewards of what you are doing in the season. Father, I pray that may we not dictate to our helpers how the help should look. I pray for humility. I pray for humility over your people in the name of Jesus. The Bible says when Naaman heard uh, uh, that the Elisha the prophet had told him to go and bath without even seeing him or touching his leprosy, he was enraged. But I pray in the matchless name of Jesus that that when we come to destiny defining moments, may we trust what God is doing. May we trust the move of God. May we trust the move of the spirit. May we trust the instructions of the spirit in the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. Oh, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to somebody. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to somebody. I need somebody to celebrate. I need somebody to celebrate. I need somebody to celebrate. Father, we know that when we ask, we receive. When we knock, the door is opened. When we pray, you answer us. Oh, I need somebody to just get excited on credit. Destiny helpers are gravitating towards us. Destiny helpers are gravitating towards our ministries. Destiny helpers are gravitating towards our marriages. I'm seeing some of you receiving friends that are going to give you so much wisdom for your marital 
journey. Things that you have not yet learned in marriage, they will be able to share this wisdom and it will completely shift your marriages. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing people in business receiving people that are going to be able to give you wisdom that you never, you never would have received had the Lord not sent these people that are carrying spiritual and natural deposits into your life to aid you, to assist you on your destiny journey to cut short the time you should have spent trying to build that multi-million million dollar business no it's not going to take you 10 years no it won't take you 50 years no you won't have to pass it to your children while you're still struggling to fulfill the vision in the name of jesus god is sending destiny helpers along on your way uh, in the name of jesus christ be ready uh, uh, let your eyes open to see what god is doing in this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Woo. Father, we thank you. Ah, Father, we thank you. I pray that God gives you the wisdom that is required to nurture these relationships to honor these relationships, to nourish these relationships. I pray that God gives you, because you would be so, you would be, some of you would be shocked how many people have come along your path, but you, you ignored them. Didn't respond to the message. Hello, somebody. <laughs> you just, you never returned the call. You didn't dig deep. The coffee date never happened. That's, that's the place where you should have known that these people have literally been strategically sent by heaven into your life. You would have known more about them, their story, what they have to offer. But you just, it's like, it's like the moment you get close to your destiny helpers, you lose, you lose zeal, you lose passion, you lose excitement. But I pray in the name of Jesus and I speak against that spirit that causes you not to honor destiny defining relationships life changing relationships every time you step into places and relationships which could potentially change the story of your life it's like you lose interest it's like it's like you lose interest it's it's, it's some of you and then a, a, a few months later you don't know why why did i let this person go why did i frustrate this relationship why did i not take this person seriously why did I not follow up on this business contact? It's like every time the enemy sees that you are close to your breakthrough, you lose energy. But I pray in the name of Jesus that every time you come close to your destiny helpers, may God give you an attuned spirit. May something inside of you know that this person carries my destiny. Uh, this person carries my destiny. They might not look the part, but this person is something I need. Let me honor this relationship. Let me nourish this relationship. Let me nurture this relationship. And I know we are busy. I know we've got families. I know we have so many things, so many responsibilities. But I pray that God, once God really causes you to see a destiny helper, I pray that may God give you capacities by way of the spirit, capabilities and ability to discern your, your destiny defining relationships and to nurture and to nourish them so that you are no longer crying 10 years from now. You know, I always marvel at the story of Mark Zuckerberg. I hope he doesn't hear us in the algorithm and start peeping and trying to figure out what we're talking about. Thank God uh, TikTok is not his platform. But I always remember the story of Facebook and how Mark Zuckerberg, I don't know if many of you know the story, how, 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 how he, 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 he invited a few of his friends. I think there were two of his friends or something or three of his friends. He told them about the idea of Facebook. I don't know if I have any business people that read uh, biographies here. Uh, but the story goes when he actually wanted to start Facebook, he invited a few of his friends. They were at the same university together and he shared the story. He shared the vision and he said, listen, I've got this thing and I, I really believe in it. And I think that uh, I want to I want to invite you guys on the journey. Let's push it. Let's see where it goes. And there were there were people there that said no. Can you believe that there was somebody that said no to the Facebook vision? 
uh, probably not even because of a good good reason. They probably were dating a girl and they thought they wouldn't have enough time to keep dating her. I don't know. I don't know the story. Listen, I don't know the story, but I know that when I was in varsity, I used to make some very dumb decisions. I used to make some very short-sighted decisions. Maybe it was because they were they were playing for some football match or some rugby some rugby club and they thought to themselves I might not be able to fully commit myself to this vision. I I I, I, I know for a fact if you tell if you ask those people for that story they they, they don't even have the courage to uh, to answer. Because now Facebook is a multi, multi billion. I mean, is it even a billion? I think it's a trillion dollar idea. What am I saying? I'm saying it takes one destiny helper in your life to change the trajectory of your life. It takes somebody that comes into your life and assists you and aids you in a way that completely shifts the trajectory of your corporate journey. It, it doesn't take many people. It, 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 it doesn't take a lot. It takes one person that opens one door and there is a domino effect because when that person opens the door for you, there is so many other people in that room that are willing to assist you. I'm just saying that when you step into these destiny defining moments like that Facebook moment that Mark had with his friends, I pray that you will not miss your opportunities. When you see people that you know are carrying something your destiny needs, I pray that you will not miss the opportunity. I pray that you will not be sleeping. I pray that you will not be too lazy to pursue those relationships. I pray that you will not be slumbering. I pray that you will you will not choose short term term gains in 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 in, in the space of long term gains. I don't know if I'm communicating to somebody. I don't know if I'm communicating to somebody. I don't know if I'm communicating to somebody. Prayer governors, God bless you. May God increase, expand, and enlarge you. May God cause you to gravitate to your destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. If you don't know me, my name is Melody and this is House of Hosting Heaven. We meet every morning between 6.30 and 7.30 a.m. S-A-S-T and we pray daily from Monday to Friday. And I'm having such an amazing time this year because I believe that God is getting ready to do something incredibly powerful in our lives as we continue to focus on charging and servicing our prayer altar. We are going to meet God here. We are going to encounter God here. We are going to see the move of God here. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen and amen. If you came here late and you're saying, woman of God, I wish I was here a bit earlier. Uh, you can actually watch the rebroadcast of this session on our YouTube platform. It's called House of Hosting Heaven. It's called House of Hosting Heaven. It's on YouTube, House of Hosting Heaven. So definitely make sure you go on YouTube and you check out the rebroadcast. It premieres at 12 p.m. SAST today. 12 p.m. SAST today. If you miss it while it's premiering, it will always be on our YouTube platform. So you can always watch it at any point in the day or at any point in the week in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you this year to stay consistent on your prayer altar. I want you to charge and service your prayer altar. Some of you, you have not yet heard the voice of God, but I want to make a prophetic declaration that this is the year that you will hear God. This is the year that you will hear God concerning your life. This is the year where you are going to encounter the voice of God. You have been void of direction. You have been confused. You have been frustrated. But this year, as you continue to step uh, on this on the, on the on the place of prayer, as you continue to 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 kneel on your knees, as you continue to nurture and nourish your relationship with the Lord, you are about to experience a beautiful, powerful, intimate relationship with the Lord that will change and completely shift your life in Jesus mighty name wonderful name and i'm so grateful that i get the humbling opportunity to just facilitate that beautiful thing that god wants to do with you in your life in jesus mighty and wonderful name prayer governors god bless you i will see you tomorrow for thursday thursday session come ready come expectant in jesus mighty and wonderful name 
Amen and amen. God bless you, everybody. Thank you to the 169 people that have shared the broadcast. Uh, may God make you a partaker of the blessing that's connected to the sharing of uh, the, the unpacking of his word in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Thank you to everybody that gave. Uh, we don't ask. We, we don't have an offering session here. There's no offering time, blessing time, blessing time, offering time. Uh, but when people feel led, they connect to whatever word is being ministered to. And we just pray that may God fulfill and satisfy whatever word you spoke um, as you were, whatever, whatever, whatever anticipation of your heart you had as you were connecting in Jesus mighty name. And let it never be said concerning you that you, uh, you, 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 you released, uh, you released this gift on a place that was not fruitful in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. So may God increase where you have taken. Amen. And amen. God bless you so much. Prayer governors. I will see you tomorrow morning and before i leave i just want to make a very very quick um someone says the best praying session i've had on tiktok glory 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 to jesus glory to god i want to make a call if by any chance there's someone here who's saying listen i came here i wasn't even planning on it but i'm feeling an urge to give my life to christ i'm feeling an urge to pray the prayer of salvation i'm feeling an urge to just give my life to God, I don't want to leave and make an assumption that everybody here is in alignment and everybody has accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Someone says, I do. I see you right there. I Someone says, that's me. I see a second person. Uh, somebody just lift up your hand if there's anybody else in the comment section who's just saying, someone says, I do. That's a third person. I see the fourth person. Someone says, I do. I see a hand. The fifth person. I see three hands there. Six. That's me. Number seven. I see, I see hands that are lifting up people that are saying that's me listen woman of god before you leave just 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 make sure that you help me uh, realign myself to my father i want to go back into the fold i want to go back to my daddy some of you are recommit rededicating your lives to christ i'm seeing all of those i do's i want you to pray a small prayer with me it's one of the shortest prayers you're ever going to make it's going to sound very simple very short very small but let me tell you something you are inviting divinity into your life it is a prayer of covenant you are literally cutting a covenant with the lord you are inviting the lord into your life you are inviting him into your circumstance inviting him into your issues inviting him to start walking the journey with you so i want you to pray this prayer with me i want you to say dear lord jesus i acknowledge that i'm a sinner and i have sinned against you Today, I ask that you would cleanse me. Wash me clean with your blood. Forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died on the cross. And I believe that you rose again. Come into my life today. Change the story of my life in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. The Bible says heaven rejoices over one sinner that repents. We are celebrating with you right now. I can surely assure you that there are people from all across the globe that are on this portal that are celebrating because you have come back to your daddy. I know you've tried it all, but, but try him again. I know you've done it all, but try him again. I know you had gone and tried to look for other the wells that can satisfy the thirst of your soul but i want you to come back and i want you to drink from this well again it is it has been tried it has been tested it has been found every single time to never satisfy to never disappoint it will always satisfy so i want to congratulate congratulate you congratulations in jesus mighty and wonderful name and we're going to be meeting you i pray and i, I want to encourage you um that you you continue to come through and to pray with us we're going to be trusting god for you to uh connect with the bible believing local church where you can also be nourished and to grow also but uh i feel free to make this your your your, your prayer family we come here every morning you will meet us here monday to friday between 6 30 and 7 30 a.m s-a-s-t convert that to whatever time zone you are connecting from in jesus mighty and wonderful name prayer governors god bless you
bless you. I love you so very much. And see you tomorrow, same time, same place. And may God honor and increase you. And may they be resounding victory in your day to day. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. And remember, if you have not yet um, downloaded a spiritual life planner, I highly encourage you to consider grabbing yourself a spiritual life planner. We are going on a journey together this year. And we are leaving no one behind. We are going to grow in our spiritual lives. In Jesus' mighty name. The link will be in the description box below. If you're watching from YouTube, if you're watching on TikTok, consider clicking the link tree. It will be right underneath our name. Check our spiritual life planner out and do consider grabbing yourself a copy. It will definitely give you some intentionality in your spiritual journey and your spiritual growth. Amen and amen. God bless you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, King of Glory.